Hello and welcome to edipediaworld.com. In today's video, we will learn about noise. So what is noise? What is this lady trying to avoid? Yes, the lady is trying to avoid some kind of loud noise because she doesn't like it. It is not very soothing to her ears. Exactly. This kind of unwanted sound, unwanted uh, anything unwanted sound is known as noise. And this noise today is the most pervasive populant in our environment. It pollutes our environment. So what is noise? Noise is any unwanted sound to our ears is called noise. So now what are the sources of noise? Noise uh, is produced by many sources like for example the jet planes. Whenever these jet planes pass by, you know, we hear loud sound. This loud sound is nothing but noise. It is not wanted. It is not, uh, we are not, uh, we don't like this kind of sound. So this again becomes a noise for us. Again, traffic, the road traffic again produces noise, which we don't want. Other sources are like marriage ban. You must have seen some tribes uh, right in front of your street. Some of the marriage ban is crossing. So this again is a loud sound and is noise to our ears. Few other examples include the lawn mowers. So whenever uh, somebody is cutting grass uh, by using lawn mowers, the lawn mowers produce a loud sound and which is not soothing uh, to our ears. So this uh, again becomes a noise. Construction sites, lot of road rollers and cranes and all, they also produce a uh, loud sound. So that is again noise. The boom boxes, whenever there's a party nearby your house, you could hear the loud, uh, loud noise. So this again is not required and uh, it becomes a noise to our ears. A person uh, working uh, with some kind of construction equipment also produces a lot of noise. So there are many sources of noise, right? Now, what is noise? We already uh, learned about sound. Sound is something which, is, which we like, which is uh, soothing to our ears. So sound, as we know that it is a kind of wave, it is a sine wave like this. It goes, it has a high and low, alternate high and low. You know, we talked about compressions and ray refraction, compressions and ray refraction. So that becomes a sound. So if you have, let's, for example, tuning fork, and if we, uh, if the, after we strike this tuning fork, what happens is the vibrations are produced and these vibrations produces a sound which is a good sound, it is a pure sound, it is soothing sound. Whereas what, so this becomes a sound, whereas what is noise, let's say if we hammer a nail, then this is an unwanted sound. So it, uh, you know, this it won't be a sine wave anymore, but it will be something like what is shown on the screen. So the pattern is different here it is a sound wave but here it is not a sound wave it is some kind of you know uh, ups and downs which are not regular so the this is how we identify noise one more example of unwanted sound so this is what we say a tone or we say a good tune right so this is how a good tone will look like you know is a sine wave alternate high and low whereas a noise can be you know anything it can be it will be high here then it will be again low on the positive side then again some kind of high so the frequency the wavelength is all it will not be same at every place so uh, this we call a noise right so now what happens because of noise? Noise can cause a lot of problems and uh, the problems with noise is not only that it is unwanted to our ears, but also because it negatively affects human health and its well-being. The other problems are, uh, they include uh, hearing loss because continuously if over a period of time we continue to hear loud noise, and not just the loud noise, but even if we continue to hear um, noise of which are very low, 
in intensity even they can create you know hearing loss over a period of time a person uh, can get affected with these kinds of noise he will have hearing loss right few other causes are stress high blood pressure loss of sleep yes because of uh, noise we cannot sleep if there is a loud band which is being played outside then we will not be able to sleep so we will uh, encounter loss of sleep distraction of course if a person is trying to concentrate and study inside his house and there is some kind of party which is going on outside which is because of which loud noise is produced and he cannot concentrate and there will be distraction lot of distraction he cannot meditate or concentrate and finally a uh, general reduction in the quality of life because of all these uh, uh, you know ill effects what is the overall uh, effect on a person's life that the quality of life will be reduced so these are some of the ill effects of noise so what is important is that we need to reduce this this noise we need to uh, somehow either cancel this noise or some kind of either reduction or it is a total removal this is what is required right now there are some noises which are loud enough to damage our ears and this damage can be temporary as well as permanent and uh, even surprisingly low level of sounds can also damage our ears if we are exposed to it continuously right so most of us experience dangerously loud noise level because of which you know uh, we generally have hearing loss as we grow old so what do we need to do what are what are the methods of reducing so now we will discuss about how to reduce noise and flashed on the screen is the first method the method is called blocking the noise we can block the noise so how do we block the noise okay you can see the picture right below what are these these are called ear plugs so if we put the ear plugs in our ears what happens is the noise will be blocked we will not have any more noise which is entering the ears so that is one method the next method is by masking you know by masking uh, the noise uh, to a very great extent the noise can be reduced now uh, what happens what are the various methods of masking methods of masking are basically you can sound proof your space wherever you are staying you can sound proof that area and what all is uh, is included in this sound proofing let's say if you have very hard floors so what happens is we can use rugs and rugs will go a long way in fighting the unnecessary or unwanted sound we can use rugs in case uh, the windows are uh, you know uh, known as a weak point in many structures we have lot of noise which is coming through the windows so installing better windows and ceiling window frames and uh, hanging curtains uh, this will also reduce you know the sound which is coming from outside so these are very very simple methods in order to you know mask the sound which is coming from outside for example if we have very noisy neighbors on one side of you so put some kind of furniture or book big a bookshelf uh, against that particular wall so that will also reduce or mask uh, the noise let's say even we'll have uh, we have uh, laundry machines inside our house so what do we do is that the laundry uh, wherever we we can place that laundry machine in a very small room and we can close the door of that room so these are very simple methods in order to mask the uh, noise the third method of reducing the noise is basically cancellation of unwanted cancellation means you're totally cutting off the um cutting off the source which is producing noise so uh what can we do we can turn off all the electronics and other devices which are producing the noise and what are these devices computer game systems television and the, uh, these are the ones which produce a lot of noise so if we turn off these electronics totally then you know over a period of time all these uh, sounds 
which generally cause a lot of ill effects, that will not happen. So these are the three ways in which the blocking, the masking and the cancellation of unwanted sound, if we do it, then to, to a very large extent, unwanted sound or what we call the noise can be reduced. I hope you must have understood what is sound, what is noise and what is the difference between sound and noise. So thank you for watching Edupedia World videos.